What's up guys, Austin back with the world's best bed head you already know with my training partner Nick exactly. and we are back at the boathouse ready for another day on the water and it is a beautiful sun is shiny wonderful blue skies glass water day here in Sacramento so we're excited to get on the water should be a good time today Oh yeah, we're gonna skull today. So because my legs are so freaking long, in certain boats, you see we've got the foot plates and we've got the tracks where the seat slides back and forth. But if you move the feet too far forward, your shins end up hitting the rigger here. And so what needs to happen, at least for me in most cases, is I actually need to slide these tracks back a little bit. That way I can get my legs fully extended down. It's a real pain in the butt. We out here, and it's a beautiful day. The water is pretty much as good as it gets, and we're still rolling like crap. But you know what? It's our first time in a double together. As you can see, there's four oars, and not just two, like it is in a pair. And you know, with sculling, both people have two oars, and so it's a totally different technique than just rowing with one oar when you're turning out to one side. So. It's just something we're not used to doing. In college, we sweep rowing is what collegiate athletes do, and so that's what we're used to the most, but you know, this boat was rigged for a double because we have the pleasure of rowing out of the UCD boathouse, and they're gonna be racing some doubles, uh, and you know, we're gonna take what we can get. So, just a nice day here out on the double. Um, Nick? Yeah. How you feeling? Um, not as bad as I thought it'd be for the first first time in a double. He's been in a double before. This is actually my first time in a double. I've got some single rowing experience, but yeah, not bad for my, our first time. We haven't flipped. No flipping. So that's good. Yeah, it's definitely more set having these four oars on or two oars on each side. Four oars total. Definitely a lot more set than the pair. So yeah, feels feels pretty good, and it's definitely a lot better on your back too. Because with the with you know sweep rowing, you're constantly turning out to one side. And a common question people say is, do you get muscular imbalances that way? And you kind of do because you are used to just turning out to that one side, and usually you're not just constantly switching sides to sides every time you get into a boat. So the sculling is definitely better, especially if you have some back problems. Uh, I'd say it's definitely better for the body. So we're about. I don't know, how many K out? 4K? Yeah, I'm on 4K. About 4K out, we're gonna take another 4K back and we'll take it in, stretch it out, and probably some more pull-ups. Hell yeah. Hell yeah.
Yo. No way. That thing is massive. It's pretty heavy. Look at that. We think that's a goose egg. Any a geese specialists out there? The thing. I won't touch it. It's massive. Look how looks like an egg from the camera, but compared to like the size of my hand, it's pretty freaking big. Well, thoughts on the row? Not bad for the first time in the double. Not bad at all. Beautiful day. Definitely got some technique work to do as far as sculling goes. Um, probably yep. only been in a single like ten or so times, so like sculling in general, single or double, not very good at, but. We'll see how much better we can get without a, an actual coach teaching us how to skull. If we got um, any other rowers out there watching these videos, feel free to leave some technique tips down in the comments. Leave the technique tips. We need them. But I don't know. I think, like I, I told you earlier, um, I feel like our our mistakes will probably get amplified at higher rates. So like the double felt pretty good today, but as far as like race pace stuff, I feel like the pair will definitely still be our stronger boat class. But yeah, double will be fun. Can uh, can try it out. I guess, uh, I don't know when our deadline to enter into the race is. Yeah, I don't either. I think, I checked the website, I don't think anybody's entered yet, so. So, pair or double? We'll see. What do you think we should row, pair or double? Let us know. And now we're going to head to the pull-up bar for another round of pull-ups. And I'll tell you right now, I am, uh, I'm pretty tired, Nick. I mean, my lats feel pretty good, so we'll see. That's great. See, I work out more than he does, so my lats are sore, you know, we'll see. So Nick wants me to do the pull-ups first this time, so. Okay, here's, here's to see if we can get another 18. Ooh. What's that, 15? 15. 15. How many is it, 18? That was 18. I think I got my chin over, so we'll count it. I don't know. Okay, Nick. We'll see. <sighs> Nick suffers from sweaty hand syndrome. Two, three, nice dude, four. Ten, only slowing down. Oh. <laughs> I'll get some good sunlight angle here. Here we go. Eleven, nice. Twelve. Twelve, come on, man. Match from last time. Two more at least. You got one more, one more. Chin up. Hit it, hit it hard, hard, hard. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> My aching tentacles. <laughs> I can feel it now, Mr. Crows. We can feel it now, Mr. Krabs. I think we're done for the day. Ready to take it easy. And guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you, uh, let me know what you think down in the comments below. As always, leave some rowing tips if you've got them. If, you're, if you've done some sculling in the past, you wanna help us out a little bit. And always, of course, just let me know what you wanna see more of. You know, these vlog styles. I can show you more water footage, more talking, more pull-ups, more twerking, like whatever you want. Just let us know. So take care and we'll see you in the next rowing vlog.